So my name is Victoria Głasiak. I'm a student of uh, Warsaw Hofanova High School. Uh, on my profile, I extend maths, physics, as well as IT, which I am uh, especially passionate about. Uh, I try to improve my IT skills in programming, uh, digital graphic, uh, and overall my knowledge uh, on this field uh, in my free time. Uh, other than that, I am interested in psychology uh, and leadership styles. Um, I, I exceptionally like spending my free time on sports. I've got unusual hobbies such as horse riding and dancing hip hop, uh, which I train personally. Um, uh, my school is a wonderful and unique place. It let me uh, participate in so many social events. Uh, I doubt I would get that opportunities from any other place. Uh, for uh, instance, I was working alongside my friends and my new med friends here. Uh, as soon as in the first grade, uh, we had two festivals, a theater and a film one. And uh, I helped the tech section uh, there. It was last year in October, as I remember. Um, then I transferred to organization section and with my closest best friend, um, we are going to lead the section uh, in this year's festivals in October as well. I'm very excited to meet new people and their stories uh, and help them enjoy the event as best as I can. Um, uh, as soon as I saw uh, an announcement about this particular scholarship, I got really excited and decided to uh, give it a shot and do my best. Uh, I wouldn't be so excited if it weren't about uh, English culture, English speaking uh, country and uh, Silicon Valley. As you can expect, uh, being interested in business and IT, uh, this place is quite significant to me and I understand its importance in uh, today's world. Um, I hope to meet uh, ambitious people uh, alongside if I get uh, the unique chance to be here. Um, and uh, well, uh, I would like to show my classmates as well, uh, participating and applying for this scholarship that anything is possible. And I would like to encourage them all to pursue their biggest dreams. Um, I very much like uh, English language. It is something that uh, I develop uh, for, that I, well, I started English, uh, I, start, I started learning English uh, in kindergarten. And uh, it was uh, several years ago. Uh, I took such an interest in, the, in that language. Uh, I participate in extra English language uh, apart from school uh, classes. Uh, and uh, we've got a lot of uh, passionate discussions about intriguing topics there, uh, which helped me develop my vocabulary, grammar, and uh, the way I, in which I speak. Um, some other things about me, uh, something that makes me stand out when I, met, uh, when I meet new people uh, is my ability to motivate them uh, to, co to cooperate uh, and work towards uh, our goals. Whenever it is something as simple as, simple as uh, cleaning the stable on a horse riding summer camp, or as big as uh, organizing my classmates uh, and managing them to provide uh, videos for the school's open uh, doors day, I, am, I take a lot of satisfaction doing that and I absolutely love uh, working with people. I am also able to see hidden potential uh, in individuals, and I, I'm keen on uh, proving them that it matters. They shouldn't be afraid to show it to the public, and uh, it is worth taking risks and uh, trying to do your best and chasing success. 
Okay. Thank you very much for your presentation. And now, <clears throat> and now, uh, Peter's turn. Peter, would you like to ask uh, yeah, Peter, yeah. Yeah, about some interesting issues? I've been waiting for this last presentation and Victoria because uh, uh, we, we we like uh, the same person in business, uh, which is Steve Jobs. Um, uh, since years, I live longer than you, as you can see. Uh, I, I, I followed his career and I really admire what he, what he has done. But I have one question uh, as a fan to the fan. Uh, do you remember um, who was the woman who played the most significant role in his business from the beginning to the end? Not in his private life, uh, but in his business. If you I don't remember, remember don't I can't remember names, unfortunately, but I remember watching the film Steve Jobs from uh, 2015. Uh, which is an intriguing interpretation of his life, his career, and his uh, great success. And there was this woman that uh, he was his assistant, I assume. Uh, he stood by him uh, in the toughest times. He supported him, uh, even if uh, sometimes he appeared impulsive and uh, was extremely demanding. Thank you. Um... I think that I'm asking this question not just to challenge you, but uh, she was um, a mathematician. She graduated MIT. Uh, she was a head of marketing uh, supporting Steve Jobs. She was Polish. Her name, oh, was, uh, you know, her name was Janna Hoffman. And she was a daughter, <laughs> she is a daughter of Jerzy Hoffman, famous Polish uh, film director. So I think that what I would like to ask you for, look uh, at, at least to Wikipedia, read about her, because I think that for, for you, um, as a very intelligent, uh, growing, uh, your career, uh, Polish woman, it might be, it might be another uh, interesting person to look at. I'm definitely um, looking forward to get to know her story better. Mm -hmm. I will do, okay, it, I will do it even today. <laughs> <laughs> uh, please do it because you will be stepping the same yes, she seems, uh, pavements uh, uh, quite, and streets as, as her. She seems quite uh, gifted and uh, successful. I will yeah. uh, look, look her up for sure. Okay, uh, so um, if you if you were thinking about this uh, couple of days, this short trip to California, what are your real expectations? What would you like to bring back for yourself and for your for your for your community? Uh, so first of all, I've never been uh, to USA. I've never been to any uh, English speaking country. I've never I've never been to any uh, that influential country. And I would like to uh, get to know the culture, the people, uh, to see their mindsets, uh, to hear what they are, what their daily lives are about, and uh, how to begin uh, your career in there. Because I'm interested in uh, traveling there in the future. Uh, and pretty much Silicon Valley being uh, a great nest for all IT uh, improvements and uh, all the development. Uh, I hope to, I hope to um, meet new individuals which are going to be the future of our world uh, during this uh, scholarship program. And uh, I really want uh, to meet new people, new places, and new stories. I'm excited about it all, as well as the setting in which this all is happening. Thank you. Okay, uh, so maybe my turn. Um, Victoria, describe what your life would be like so in 10 years. Um, having a versatile interest, but being headed on IT, I would like to uh, manage my own company or at least be a part of a big project uh, headed for changing our daily lives and impacting a big change in the world. 
I'm still on my development journey. I'm still creating uh, my political as well as social standpoints on many things. I'm still developing and improving myself as a person and my capabilities. Uh, and the road there is pretty much exciting. But in 10 years, I see myself as an intensely developing person still. I don't want to get stagnant in life for sure. There's so much to learn and the world is ever changing. Okay. And uh, can you give me can you give me an example of failure that you has uh, become an important lesson for you? So, um the story is concerning a situation, a long-lasting situation from about five years ago. It was when perfectionists struck me. It caused burnout and constant stress about school, uh, great especially. I learned a lot from that period uh, and the most important lesson will be for me to be yourself. It doesn't mean staying in one place and not improving yourself, not becoming a better person with every day, but um, just being yourself is much more important than uh, chasing perfectionism because perfectionism in itself doesn't really exist. It's a concept that people are trying to achieve from many, many years. And there's nobody officially taking the honorous title of being uh, the most perfect per person on the planet because people are very different and being yourself, being authentic, making connections is much more important as to a success as well than uh, chasing some imaginary and impossible uh, abstractions. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, Tomek, would you like to add, add something? Of course, with a great pleasure. But before I uh, ask the question, remind us, how old are you? I'm 16. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think that starting better, uh, starting uh, sooner in, in life is better than waiting for some event. Having opportunity, I applied for the scholarship as soon as I saw it, as okay, mentioned great. before. Um, tell us, Victoria, you, you said that you are interested in IT and programming mm -hmm. and artificial uh, intelligence. Yes, uh, do you think that AI is a threat or is um, an opportunity for, for humanity? Uh, is, is something like happened in Terminator movie uh, <laughs> may, 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 may be a threat to, 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 to us? A situation from Terminator and other uh, not so uh, hopeful uh, science fiction movies uh, could be a threat, a potential threat, but Every discovery in science has two sides, and, and uh, it depends pretty much on, uh, appro on the approach of the people who work around it, develop it, and secure it. Because I think that um, with artificial intelligence, it can either be controlled all the way, or somebody can uh, do a mistake, a crucial mistake at some point, that will lead to such a fast, uh, development of AI that it can become a threat. So uh, the main objective for today's world is to put much focus in put uh, focus into this field uh, of science, but remain uh, cautious, remain aware of how the situation may play out in the future. Okay, thank you. Um... You also mentioned that you are interested in books uh, covering leadership. Uh, do you have an idea? You, you are relatively young, but uh, you, you might be, you already may have an opinion on that. What is good things and bad things about leadership? And maybe you have uh, some examples uh, which uh, for, from your life. I'm sure you've been in, in a different kind of situation that somehow you definitely you, you had to lead. Yes, <laughs> that happens uh, many times. Uh, so my experience with leadership, leadership is uh, that everybody has its own unique take on leadership, right? Uh, and But there are uh, quite a few mistakes that people make. Uh, punishments being one. Uh, 
for great failures, you need to uh, analyze the failure and to uh, take some lesson from that so as to avoid it in the future and not uh, bring yourself even more down uh, by repeating how much of a failure that was, uh, that was and um, and creating such uh, an untrue setting in which that stops you from further development and, uh, and, and which could possibly stop your uh, coworkers from further development. There is no such thing. Like even losing everything doesn't stop you from development and people punishing oneself, uh, especially uh, being too tough uh, on each other is uh, something in leadership that I would like to change. Uh, emotions play a huge part uh, in that uh, matter because many people mm, can't control their emotions well, uh, their tempers, and uh, tend to lash out on their coworkers uh, or establish uh, a difficult to understand hierarchy, uh, which is and which pretty much it uh, doesn't allow others to grasp it properly and creates unnecessary distance uh, and some tension in relationships because leadership is about motivating others, working towards common vision and remaining relationships. Okay, okay. thank, thank you. So let's go to the uh, sum up. Uh, I think uh, you are very, you are extremely serious about your goals for the future, which is usually uh, a huge advantage in uh, uh, in your in your age. Uh, you showed the, your, that your actions are aimed not only at present time but also at achieving the best possible start in an adult life and you can describe it so i will chew you and I keep my finger crossed for your success thank you very much thank you very much Tomek? uh well i really like your presentation i uh, i like your energy and passion and and uh, the, the last thing i wanted to say is that i have option contract for piotr to hire you in two years' time in Ernst & Young. That would be amazing. I will consider it. <laughs> Thank you. And I will check uh, if it is uh, illegal. <laughs> That's why I said this is an optional contract for two years' time. <laughs> Piot, over to you. Uh, what my short, short comment is always when you're talking with a, with a brilliant, intelligent young people, um, you, you 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 might be afraid that they are sometimes pre mature but premature. Uh, you are uh, mature but you are natural. It looks that 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 you have reached something that amazes me, which is the harmony between between relatively young age, uh, knowledge and and uh, uh, well uh, observation uh, on yourself and and uh, how you can eventually define yourself in, in, in your community and in your life, which, uh, which is really surprising me, but, but it, it sounds really good. Uh, and I think that you are an extremely balanced person, uh, which helps uh, to, 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 uh, to achieve a real success in, in your life. Uh, Steve Jobs was not, of course. Um, so, so congratulations for that. I think that uh, I, I shouldn't say that, but it was the best presentation without slides uh, I heard at least today. So, congratulations for that. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Okay. Uh, unfortunately, um, our meeting and interview is coming to an end. Thank you very much for your time and efforts, and uh, we will get back to you shortly. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.